Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again back for your third and final video blog of the night for September 26, 2014, Friday night, around 7.55 in Bellica, Massachusetts. The sun's down, and it's going to be in the 50s tomorrow. tonight. Tomorrow is going to shoot up to the 80s, Indian summer, but next week we could have several days of much treated rain. And some news to report. The Boston Celtics have announced that their captain, Rondo Raja, has been broke his hand and he'll be out six to eight weeks. This is not good for the Celtics, not good for Rondo because he wants his trade value for the end of the trade deadline, which will be in February of 2015. And he's, he's going to be traded. The Celtics are going to trade him away. He does not want to be part of a major rebuilding process which the Celtics are now undergoing. And I predict the Celtics will finish in last place in the NBA this year, have the best chance for the number one pick in 2015 NBA draft. And also, if you're watching the NHL Network in the Boston area, you will not be getting the Bruins Capitals games. It's blacked out. And what's worse, the Bruins aren't on Nesson or Nesson Plus. That sucks. I think all Bruins preseason games should be on Nesson or Nesson Plus because the fan base really wants to see the Bruins. They have all the Celtics preseason games on on Comcast Sports in New England and the Celtics are going to suck this year. And the Bruins are going to be a great team. So Nesson, whatever you do next year, put all the Bruins game preseason games on Nesson Plus if you have to. And that's about it on that. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about a Boston Bruins late legend, the late Dip Clapper. Clapper was a great NHL player. He was the first NHL player to play 20 seasons in the National Hockey League, all with the Boston Bruins, a legend. And his number five is retired by the team. Dip was born in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada, and he was raised in Haskins, Ontario. His real name is Aubrey Clapper. He started his hockey career at the age of 13 playing, playing minor league hockey in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. He played juniors for the Toronto Parkdale Club in the Ontario Hockey League as a good defenseman. He turned pro in 1925 at the age of 18 playing for the Boston Tigers in the Canadian American Hockey League. The Canadian American Hockey League was the forerunner. To the, today's American Hockey League, which is the Triple A of the National Hockey League. In 1927, Dip Clapper's contract was bought by the Boston Bruins, and he was a defenseman, but the Bruins coach at the time, Art Ross, decided an experiment. He was going to move Clapper to right wing, and the experiment paid off because in his first NHL game, in his first NS8 NHL Shift 10 seconds in, Dip Clapper scored his first NHL gold. Pretty amazing. The next year, Clapper teamed with Cooney Well Landon and Dutch Gainer to form the Dynamite Line. That was the first NHL trio to be named a nickname for a line. And they set records for the NHL at the time for production for, for a line for a few years. Dip Clapper won three Stanley Cups with the Boston Bruins, 1929, 1939, and 1941. He's the only Bruins player in history to win three Stanley Cups. And two times he was named to the NHL All-Second Team as a right winger. And then one time he was named to the NHL First Team as a defenseman. And he was Bruins captain on two separate occasions totaling 13 years in total. He was he coached the Bruins for four seasons. He coached them while he was still playing for them. He retired as a player in 1947. After a 20-year career, he played like half his career at the right white right ring and half his career as a defenseman. And when he retired, the Bruins immediately retired as number five. No other player wore it in Bruins history until 1983. While that number was temporarily retired because the Bruins had like a defenseman named Guy Lapointe. 
and Guy wore number five for the, when he was playing for the Montreal Canadiens, and it's stipulated in his contract he had it to wear number five, and he wore up and that Boone's unretired that number for a while, but um, Dip Clapper's family was against having that number five, and I heard something him going to take legal action. Boone's had it, it's, um, the point had it change his number to twenty-seven, and then after after like Clapper. Um, coached the Boone for four years. He retired from hockey. He he served as a director of the Petersburg Pens of the OHL for a while, and he actually owned some businesses in Petersburg, Ontario, Canada, like a sporting goods store and a plumbing business. And in in 1959-60, he came out of retirement to coach the Buffalo Bison of the NH, um, AHL for one he, season, and then he retired from any involvement in hockey for good, and he was in pretty good health until 1973 when he suffered a stroke, and the stroke left him paralyzed, and he was confined to the wheelchair for the pa last few years of his life, and he passed away in 1978. Dip Clapper was probably one of the most famous Bruins players of all time. He probably was the second most popular Bruins players back in the 20s and 30s, next to Eddie Shaw. And he was, he was, a, he was inducted into Hockey Hall of Fame when he retired in 1947. Amazing. And you don't, you don't, you don't hear too many st stories about him being a great player because there was not too many films, but... He's a Bruins legend, and he's probably the sec one of the most famous players of that era. And he was good to be a Boston Bruins. And that's about it for for the night. Hope you get to enjoy these video blogs. I love doing them. And probably next week is probably going to be most of my personality profiles will be all Boston Bruins players because it's getting ready for NHL season so I'm going to have to do a lot of these video blogs on the person I have profiles on classic Bruins players and probably next week there's going to be the classic Bruins players like Eddie Shaw, um, Lionel Hitchman, Johnny Busick, Phil Esposito, Terry O'Reilly, Ray Bohr, Maybe I'll talk about Harry Sinden, so many others. And I'll be back tomorrow, Facebook friends and YouTube followers, for at least three more of these video blogs. The subjects I'm going to talk about tomorrow will be about superstar Billy Graham's 1977-1978 WWF run as champion. He playing a heel, but he's going to... He was a good heel. And two others I'm going to talk about is l legendary game show host Dennis James. And the third video blog will be about the, like, I'm going to move this up from a couple of days about why the 2014 Boston Red Sox season sucked. And that's about it on that. Don't forget there'll be future video blogs about Julie Broughton, Local News 6, weather, weather meteorologists on the weekends, and Heidi Lee Pratt and Janelle Tobin and Crystal Pistol. All four of them will be getting video blogs soon, real soon, probably in mid to late October. It's a guarantee it. That's what Vince McMahon always says, and these blogs will be interesting. Don't forget Facebook friends and YouTube followers. If you want a special shout out, private message me and it will be shouted out by Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.